everyone it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be creating an art journal page and I'll explain in a second about all these products I just want to mention that I am doing a video with no voiceover or fast forwarding just because I really don't have time to edit anything and I, I last time I edited a video it took me three hours and I really don't have those three hours and I'm really behind on videos and I wanted to put something some content on my channel so I'm going to get started but sorry about that it's maybe I don't know how long it will take I will cut off like the drying times and things like that but everything will be like regular speed no no fast forwarding or anything like that I'm gonna be working with my joggles watercolor journal this is a really cool thing that I got right now in creativation I mean um, the owner from joggles gave it to me because I thought it was just amazing and you can definitely buy it at her store at joggles.com I'll list that below of course what's nice about this first of all it's really thick it's watercolor paper thick watercolor paper paper and the nice thing is it has these like wheels that you can easily take the page that you're working on you can easily take it out and work on it and then put it back together and because it doesn't have front or back you can just continue working like I could use these two pages like the covers and make cover like can make two covers this way so that works perfectly so all I do is take two pages and they're easily put back after it's a great system so that way you don't have to work with anything bulky inside of it so that's the first thing so I'm going to arrange these beside me and then I'm going to use a really cool stencil also from joggles this is called wood cuts and I will list that one as well I just love this pattern I think it's so so neat so I'm going to use this stencil and I want to try to use as many new things as possible although supposedly these books are actually not new from joggles they have lots of different shapes so you can like purchase any shape you want in terms of those books and um, just a really great like innovative idea and I really liked it I, I actually did a video on all the uh, uh like a haul on all the products that I got from them at creativation that she was gracious enough to give me and I'm really excited about that one and I you, I will link that below or above whichever way so you can see what I mean uh, along with new products I want to use this new plaster paste from art basics from prima finnaver art basics and this is the new product from Finn and it's really really nice it's basically very like plastic Feel. it has that plastic feel and I'm going to create uh, I'm gonna just use it I'm literally winging it I don't even know what I'm gonna be creating and this is usually how I start my projects I know more or less what formulas to use together but most of the time I'm just winging it so this is what's going to happen today so I'm going to take some of this and it's really really thick actually you know what I decided I'm gonna use instead of the, the silicone brush because it's so thick that I think it would work better if I use a palette knife just because it's it's made out of metal the palette knife is made out of metal so it can like scoop it up easier okay so this kind of acts like a modeling piece but it's a little bit thicker and you can actually sand it if you really want to I don't think I'm going to do that today but I just just want to get just going to use it because it's new and I really f have fun doing it uh it's pretty smooth it's actually smoother i think than the modeling paste i'm looking now because um i've used it but differently i just applied it roughly on a page but i actually when i apply it through a stencil i can eas easily smooth out the all the like little bumps which i'm not usually able to do with a modeling paste i always get some kind of line when i use it so i'm not going to cover everything i only want to cover partial uh, this paper partially so oops hold on it's stuck this is um the gray thing you see in the background this is the a can oliver mat as you can see it's a cling mat so not so it sticks so what's nice about it is that this stencil it, once it clings to the mat it doesn't move which is really nice and especially because it's bigger it actually didn't move and you saw me struggling trying to rem to actually lift it up it's because it clings to the actual mat the, the mat is um, non uh, slippery and it's really easy to clean I had a huge mess this morning on this mat 
and it's all clean now as you can see so it's a great mat I've really recommended if you don't have a new mat I really really love it um, now I'm going to add this oh and the mat I am I will link that as well in case you want to purchase that as well I like giving everybody the the ability to be able to purchase and sometimes people ask me where'd you get that and it's actually listed below but they don't notice so I'm telling you it's listed below in the description area of the video all you have to do is just press on the little arrow underneath the title and you will see all the different uh, products that I use today in case you want to like browse them, purchase them, putting on your wish list, whichever way. And I list to uh, certain stores depending on where it's available. So some of these are from Joggles, but some things, if they're not available at Joggles, they go to scrapbook.com or to Amazon. So there we go. I'm going to take this off. And this, I'm going to avoid drying on screen because there's just no point of you seeing me drying. One thing I want to mention about the paste, it's really thick and it's nice. It gives a really nice 3D effect and you're going to see it soon once I add the other products. I'm going to clean this mat, let this dry and come back in a few minutes. Okay, so this is finally dry. It took only a few minutes. By the time I finished cleaning my stencil and cleaning my area and everything, it was pretty much dry. I just heat set it a little bit. You can let it air dry, but I'm very impatient. And for the sakes of this video, which for you looks only like one second because it's just the next frame of the video. But for me, it took like a few minutes, really literally two, three minutes at the most. And it was, it's totally dry. And now I'm going to add some color. I am not going to add any gesso. Sometimes I add gesso, but I really want that watercolor texture to be in the background. So I'm not going to be adding any clear or white gesso. And I'm just going to try and adding the mermaid markers. So let's see how it goes. I'm really excited. I have these, I have had these, and I've used them before in one video only. And I did another art journal, but truthfully, I haven't used them too much. And I'm really excited to use them again. I'm going to take my favorite colors, which is, I think, these. I love this combo. And that's a great to get some purple as well. And we'll see. We might add other colors. I'm not sure. So if you have never used these markers, um, it takes a few seconds to figure out what you have to do. You see this little yellow band here i didn't realize that you need to remove that and i had to go back and read the instructions the first time i did it so once you remove this there's a little thing inside here that pokes a hole and lets the ink flow once you put it back together so oh you heard it it clicks and then you end up with a perfect marker so i'm going to do that to all of them i'm also going to have a little water bottle beside me this is just water it's one of the dollar store i mean it's really it's been used a lot and i'm going to start applying and all you have to do is basically squeeze at the bottom squeeze the little squeeze the little thing here so let's see let's move this a little bit to the side and i just want to let the ink flow inside this once the ink is there and there you go you see how it's coming down it comes down and then wow look how beautiful it's a really nice intense color so beautiful so what I'm going to do you see how intense the color is so what I do is I just want to add a little bit of water to just let this drip a little bit I really like the intensity of the her colors and I like cleaning things after. So I just don't want to, you see I can even use what's on the wipe and just mix it a little bit more. So this is good. I'm going to now add a little bit of this. This is a uh, siren color. What was this one? It's called, she has cool names because it's called the mermaid markers. Byron Bay, must be something. Oops, this is the same thing I have to first, oops. Uh, I might have to add some yellow onto this as well. So what I like doing is I like when I use where I, whenever I use watercolors or sprays or anything like that, I like using different colors that they will just blend together. You see how it blends so nicely one with the other? It looks beautiful. Oh, I really like that. I think there's too much over here. I'm going to dab that out. 
and I'm going to make a little bit of um but I'm actually not going to lift it up I want it to kind of pull in here because that looks really nice I'm going to press now this is called the seaweed algae oops see one oopsie it's leaking only when I press too hard and I want to get it the lighter color here but I also want to get some of the light color over here oh I love that look how beautiful that is wow I think I'm going to add a little bit of the yellow orange yellow I think it will mix really nicely with these um, I am definitely using my favorite colors um, I find that well this one I've already used for another project which I will link below so you see how I've used it before I could also wash the tips after if I really want to and you could definitely dry up before so I think I'm going to do that I'm going to dry this and I'm going to use my heat tool because once it's dry you can add a second layer so I want it to kind of pull here and it takes a few minutes for it to dry it takes a few minutes for this amount of water to dry so I'm going to dry this off screen there we go all the way okay there we go and I will get back to it in a little while and you can see the beautiful pattern I really love this it actually looks like an ocean even though this is wood cuts I'm not sure why they're called it looks like an ocean to me because of the colors so I'm going to dry this up and I'm going to add a little bit more yellow then once it's dry so I'm just showing you what I'm using I'm using the ranger heat tool because it diffuses the heat better but you could use any type of heat tool for this Okay, now that it's fully dry, I can actually go ahead and add the yellow again. So the reason why you should dry it is because the yellow is so light that it's actually mixing with and creating like a brownish color. This is not a, so much a yellow, like it's more of like a goldish orange color, but it still looks really, really nice when you add it here. It kind of brightens everything. So... I'm just adding it in certain places I could even again spray a little bit to kind of let it blend in and that's it I mean this is my one side of the background and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side but start on this side so what I'm doing is kind of balancing the two sides so I have the heaviest color here in this corner and I'm going to have the heaviest color in this corner so it's a good way of balancing an art journal especially a two-page art journal it's a it's a good way of using two corners you could use two sides you can do up and down it all depends how you like it and you can play around with the composition it's up to you and you don't have to do it exactly how I do it and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run to the other page I should have done this here as well and I might have to just extend this as well I like it when they kind of blend together and I could have done it at the same time but I just didn't I don't know why but there you go so there it is so you could another way of doing it is you could first spray everything and then add the color because look how beautifully they blend right so you could just add the color after which looks amazing wow these colors are so intense i really really love that so oh and it looks completely different than the other one i don't know why i guess i should have done them at the same time but i'm going to add the other colors and that should kind of blend everything so it doesn't have to be perfect or exact this is a is an art journal it is not a perfection it's just for you to experiment so does it have to be perfect nope it has to be how you like it so I'm going to dry it again okay so the same thing there's too much of the darker colors here so I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to add the the yellow and yes definitely I have to I have to say that my pages behind I'm just getting some wipes the pages behind are getting tainted and stained from the drips from the watercolor but I am going to put 
white gesso and I could do another page on the other side. So it's pretty easy to do. So I don't have to worry about it if they get stained. Every art journal is that's part of the process. I'm just going to dab the edges a little bit. There we go. Oh, I really, really like that. So I'm going to dry this as well. So here we go. And I love the fact that it's watercolor paper, so it really takes the watercolor markers really nicely. So I'm really excited about that. Wow. Now I'm going to add the yellow onto this side of the page, just because I need some of that yellow to kind of bring it in. Tie it, tie it all in and make this a little bit more greenish in the background so the blue will mix with the yellow and will look really nice. Uh, one suggestion that I have for you, if you want to watch this video all the way till the end, and I'm going too slow for you because I am definitely going at like not a high speed, you could fast forward this video on YouTube there's an option where the settings underneath the video you can just go ahead and put it on a one and a half time or two times and I'll just be talking a little bit faster and it's quite easy to follow uh, but at least you'll see everything faster and you can still watch it till the end so I don't want to tell you to do that if you don't want to but I'm just saying that if this is too slow for you and sometimes it could be that you don't have to do that you can just watch it um, and like in, in, in YouTube a little bit a little bit faster oh look how much water it is I want to put a little bit of this green hold on and if I have too much I can always soak it you see what I mean about the other side so as you can see it's stained on the other side but that's okay I will manage and I'm going to get this to just swipe and I could definitely make another page with all this extra liquid but I'm just not going to because I don't have an idea right now oh sorry that's just my wipes okay so I'm gonna let this dry again because I really love how this turned out and I'm going to show you another trick once I'm able to have it all fully fully dry so it's basically just doing a a lot of tips and techniques for art journaling, especially if you love watercolors or anything like that. You could do this easily with watercolors. It doesn't have to be these markers. It's up to you. You can apply the same rules. You just you would you, you would be using a paintbrush and you could use things like the the watercolor confections or any type of watercolor. What I like about these mermaid markers is that they are very intense and the color is really strong. They're high highly pigmented. So that's basically what it is. I'm going to dry this really, really well. It will take probably about five minutes, but that's okay. I want to have it well dried really well so I could add, I mean, so I could do the next step. So it's finally fully dried and I'm going to use my wipe to bring that nice stenciled paste into the to the surface basically but I wanted to say that if you don't like it when it's warped like this this paper warps because it's, it's just, because it takes water and the watercolor paper just basically warps itself out but you could definitely flatten it by running it through uh, a die cutting machine a big shot or something like that just put the two pages together in between a sheet of paper and just run it with nothing no die cuts nor anything in between the machine and it will flatten it out perfectly for this uh, technique, you want to be able to show these designs a little bit better, but you want to be careful not to remove too much of the ink. So I lightly run it above the surface of the stenciled area. So it only removes the watercolor from the area where it's raised. So it only kind of touches the top and that makes it look like bring that really nice stencil stencil design into the surface here you can see it as well I'm going to do it here and you will probably see this better because this is a little bit dark it was a little bit darker so I'm just rubbing it and you don't have to rub too hard it will remove it anyways and it will look really really nice if you do use gesso above the stenciled area even clear gesso it will remove it even more because gesso resists it 
so that's it this is my background so far and I'm going to add some embellishments onto it not too much I have these really cool embellishments from joggles and I want to show you because I really think this is a huge fun solution for any type of art journaling so let me see where I put them so joggles has these die cuts they actually look like chipboard because they're pretty thick but they're actually made of the same watercolor paper material as this it was just laser cut out of thick watercolor paper and there's lots of different designs this is part of that video that i was mentioning earlier where i went ahead and um, showed all the materials that i have gotten at creativation and you can use any of these for any type of project how cool are these i think i'm going to take a butterfly today and the nice thing about these is that you there's first of all a few on a sheet and they're, and they're very inexpensive and there's so many different designs and i think that's really cool because you could once you use this part once you use this you could also use the other the the negative part as a stencil for spraying as a mask more to say not a stencil and you can still use this part it's pretty thick i can't like it's hard to see but it's pretty thick and you could decorate it or embellish it any way you like so that's what i'm going to be using here that's it it's just like one butterfly i actually realized that i do want to add a little bit of a darker color to this i should have done that before hmm how about the blue let's see this other dark blue i think this dark blue will be better okay so before I do the butterfly, I actually want to add a little bit of dark color here at the edges. That's all. I think it really makes it look good and it frames everything together. So I could have, I guess, used black, but this set doesn't come with the black and I don't want to go ahead and use something else. I do want to finish it up with this. So I'm going to just add this a little bit and not too much water just a spritz because i want to make sure that the darkness stays okay and i don't want those lines either so let's just add a little bit more okay yeah that looks really good so i should have done this before because then i could make the butterfly look like that as well so it will all match together hmm okay yeah i really like that so i'm going to do this other side as well i forgot that it's always a good idea to add something a little bit of a darker tone at the edges of your journal it really makes it look framed and it also makes it look really well like it really not really well so i mean it makes it look like it's consistent and the composition is proper i don't know it doesn't even make sense because it's not that it's proper improper it's an art journal but it really helps the composition i don't know how to explain why it does that but it does so oh there is a beautiful blue okay Yeah, that really helps it a little bit. Just going to drip this down. And I'm going to lift it up to, for like, you don't want those drips. I mean, you could have those drips. That's part of another type of art journal you can do. But I really want it to be even. So I didn't want those type of drips here. Okay, I like that a lot. And I want to add a little bit of water here just because I want it to mix. You can always use the tip of your of, of like a baby wipe to just like kind of absorb the extra water because you just want the paint, I mean the color to stay there, but you don't want the the water to stay pooled like that unless you have patience drying it and you maybe should use gloves i don't know i always forget to wear gloves but eventually eh, the ink comes off i'm just very 
particular about like using my hands i really like that but you don't have to you could use gloves because this ink and it stains probably <laughs> i'm guessing okay so i'm gonna let this dry actually we'll let it dry above here because i want to work on that butterfly and yeah there we go so the butterfly will be dark like that but not fully dark so what i'm going to do is that i want to add some type of texture onto it this okay so this is another stencil from joggles i could use the same texture that i had used before but i think something different would be nice they have joggles has really nice stencils that are also like atc size so that's good as well and if i put this like this it will it will actually make the butterfly look like it has stripes so i really like that and i'm going to use ah just for the sake of it i'm going to use the same paste so i don't use too many more materials that i have to because i don't like using a lot of materials for our journaling it becomes really expensive and nobody wants to spend that amount of, that amount of money so to be able to afford an art journal to make an art journal try to stay within the same amount of products and that helps as well okay so now i'm going to just add this to my butterfly Let's see, this is, a, as you see, I'm experimenting as I go. Oh, that looks really cool. How neat is that? Oh, I really like that. Okay, so I know, and don't mind me if I say so a lot. I do tend to say that and actually a lot, especially when I'm, when I'm doing things live. I feel like I'm doing it live, even technically I'm editing this a little bit. And all you have to do is just dry this. So they're really easy to dry. And yeah, that's about it. So let me dry this and then we're gonna add some color to it. To color in this butterfly, once it's dry, I'm going to use like the yellow first. And the reason why is because I want to be able to put the lighter color first. It makes more sense because I want that yellowish color to be in the center. And I'm going to add a little bit of water here just to kind of mix it all in. And then, oh, these would look really good with distress oxide inks. I just thought of that. I'll, maybe I'll try that for the next thing. Okay, hold on. So I just want a little bit of that yellow. And while this is still wet, I'm going to attempt to add this only in the edges. Oh, this is a purple one. This is not the right one. Sorry, I meant to add the blue. Just at the edges. As it's climbing in, kind of like watercoloring it. Because this will kind of frame it all. Yeah. And I guess I have to spray this. Okay, there we go. I think I'm going to add a little bit of that turquoise kind of green. I like that as well. I guess everything looks kind of the same. I don't know if this butterfly will actually show itself up. We will try. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow in the center. It's kind of and let this dry so i'm going to dry this and then i might add some more but you need to have it dry in order to be able to add more layers so again to add more layers onto this you need to add the second layer once the other one is dry it just makes perfect sense that way so that way you don't get brown I do not like it to have brown everywhere because the colors are mixing too much. And this butterfly, I want it to be darker than, than the other stuff. I really want it to stand out. And to do that, you need to have, as I said, those layers. Once this second layer is dry, you can go ahead and add as many layers as you want but um in order to 
have that that pattern show you can do go ahead and remove them with with the baby wipe the same way I did before so just want to make this a little bit more even I'm very symmetrical in that sense I like symmetrical things I don't know it's just just me and okay I think I like that butterfly really like it so there's a lot of drawing involved in mixed media and art journaling as you know and it just takes a long time to create something but once you do you kind of fall in love with it to tell you the truth I've attempted a art um, I mean card making I do a lot of card making and that I find takes even longer for me so I don't know I kind of debating that all crafts and all art takes a long time too if you really want to make it look good so I'm just going to dab it a little bit and you can see that really nice design now I'm going to bring this back oops this is too dirty you definitely need lots of wipes handy so you could clean up your mess all the time and now I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this butterfly here or here what do you think I like it there or I mean you have options oh I like it there better okay so there that's the one so I'm going to dry this really really well because once I add the gel medium to stick this on not only will protect the page but it could kind of move things around because it reacts with water so I really want to heat set this color well before I add the gel medium and glue everything let me heat set this well before I do the next step so this is finally dried and it only took like basically three four minutes and, and what I want to say is that I want to make this a really, really simple, a really simple art journal page. Simple sometimes is really beautiful as well. So don't get caught up in all these crazy art journal pages that people do. Just do what you love and do it the way you like it. I'm going to glue the butterfly soon. And then I got this really cool Dina Wakely Media Collage Wards from Ranger. These are all these really nice quotes and phrases and words so I'm going to pick one create the world you want I like that let's see you are beautiful you're infinite you're vast okay there's so many nice words you are infinite create the world you want okay perfect so that's what I'm going to do so all I'm going to do is basically cut these it's made out of like very thin tissue paper so it looks perfect in the background there we go you can barely see it and then I'm going to add this a create the world you want okay hold on so there we go so this is basically just tissue paper and this looks perfect here yay I'm really excited about that these are perfect for what I'm looking for because I sometimes print my own out of like paper so this is great I'm going to use some soft matte gel medium from Prima and let me move these so they don't get messed up with everything else and I'm going to glue that as well hmm I really like that so for this I will use definitely my silicone brush it's much easier to apply I'm going to go like this and just apply this to the background smooth it out oh this is so crooked it's okay if it's crooked but <laughs> I have this thing that I don't like crooked things uh, let me see oh and it's easily removable carefully ah okay if you don't want to do that then just glue it perfectly the first time <laughs> there's no perfect i know i know i know but i'm just I wanted the words to look straight a little bit so that's why okay that's good you are infinite i like that as well mm -hmm. oh no what happened here oops oh because it's so easily fixed 
see it moved while I was smoothing it because I'm using my fingers. So look, you can't even tell that it's tissue paper. I just have to strain this bubble here. How cool is that? So you can't even tell it's tissue paper. It's perfect for art journaling. And I'm going to put some glue on this as well. Hold on. This one is a little bit thicker, so definitely it will definitely take longer to dry. Okay. And I might need to put something heavy above it. Now I want to seal it. And you see how some of the, the color kind of mixes with the gel? That's okay, but you want to be careful not to like move that color around where you don't want it. So because it reacts with water, it's a water-soluble product, it does that. But there, I got it. Yay. Now I just feel like it's missing something here. And actually I want it, it's a little bit, I want it like this. Okay, let me clean that up. You can always remove what you don't want. That's the nice thing about it. Okay, there we go. So there's my butterfly. I'm going to clean my brush and then I'm going to look for something to put here in the middle. I don't know. I feel like having something in the middle just to kind of bring it all in. Oh, I know what it is. Hmm. Okay, so I cut this one. This butterfly it came out of uh, the butterflies from Prima. It actually is the center of the butterfly. I used it for another project and I just have this one left. And it's perfect for that. Yay! That's what I wanted. I wanted something for the center of the butterfly. And I'll link those below so you can, if you want to cut just that part out of the butterfly, you don't have to. But I just wanted to put this in. It will make it a little bit thicker, but not too much. And that kind of ties in the butterfly a little bit. So yeah, so this is it. This is my art journal. Very simple. I know I was a bit slow paced because I wasn't fast forwarding this, but I really like how it turned out. I'm really excited about this one. So oh wait, and I forgot. Look how easy it is to put this back together into the album, into the journal, I meant to say. So all you do is just click it in. And click in the other one and you're done. You don't have to do a lot of effort regarding the journal. And just watch the links at the end of this video. There's links to other videos that are similar to this. And also the link to the Joggles video of all the products from Creativation that I actually got. So I'm really excited to create more projects with that. Thank you so much. Bye.